Hey guys, how are we all doing? I'm D Dave. Now, if you'd be able to go ahead and smash the like button on today's video and subscribe to my channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Now, here we go. Finally getting to use the camera for main channel video. I've been hammering this thing on my vlog channel. I've done like one, two, three, four, five vlogs with it over there now, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I've only just got everything correct with it, so, you know, I had to sort it all out before I got it over on the main channel. Well, this video will revolve around the camera. So, basically, what I want to do, this will kind of put my right mind to rest, and I kind of want you guys to see it as well. I don't know if you'll all really be interested. But what I wanted to do was kind of compare my old camera, this one, to my new camera, which is what's filming this now. And the reason I wanted to put my mind to rest about this is because I'm a perfectionist. I think you, I think you all know this by now. But I worry way too much about my quality, even when it's been being filmed really nicely, like this, on a nice machine. So, yeah, I want to see the actual really big qualitative difference between my Sony FDR AX53, which I'll... Let, let's see if I can find a really good way of showing you this. I'll get my phone on it. So here's the rig. As you can see, I've got the Rode Video Mic Go, the Sony AX53, and yeah, that's what I've got there. I'm going to be comparing this, I'm leaving the microphone on everything because I want to compare the entire setup, and I'm going to be comparing it to my old camera, which I used for pretty much the entire year of 2017. That's pretty much the amount of time I've used, but I'm still going to be using this camera for t photography, as I said. So I'm going to be comparing it to this. And you see, the, one of the really great things about this, I can see what I'm filming. Still can't get over that. But I've got, I've just about got used to not looking in the screen. So I guess, this is kind of like my camera versus camera series. I don't know how much more of that I'll do. Maybe I'll compare this to an action camera or something. I don't know. But let's get into comparing these two cameras. We'll start with this going to be exciting. I literally just said I was getting used to this and the camera picks up radio interference again. Sorry about that. <coughs> I don't understand what's going on with that. I think it's the drone so I've moved it out. Hopefully it's a bit better now. So I will film like this. We'll compare like my classic vlog shot, low light performance and stuff. So yeah. I'm now filming. Hold on, let me take it out of this gorilla pod here, which I was filming on. Oh, sorry. Sorry for this really bad angle. And there we go. So I'm freehanding this now. This has got the highest stabilization. It's got some really good stabilization in it. This is the intelligent active stabilization. This is kind of like my classic vlog shot. I've got the amazing microphone and everything. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's just film some stuff. The depth of field on this is really good. Is that what it is, the depth of field? So, when, I, when you get really close to me and I adjust the focus a bit, the background glow goes really blurry and I get, I'm really in focus and it looks really nice. So, yeah. But also, I can adjust a manual function on this one at a time while I'm doing video. Could be focus, whatever. Um, now, let's do some test shots. Here is my editing track. I'm editing a video which will be coming out a once 2018 starts, the first like May of 2018, this video is coming out it's about 2017. So that's what I'm working on there. Let's get some shots of the camera. That is nice. Let's. I uh, don't know what to get now. Iron brew. Empty. And that is what I think. This is pretty good. I will actually now go ahead, turn this soft box off. This isn't that low light. Well, it kind of is. But what I noticed on my other cameras, I could barely film in here without any lighting. Like, I don't mean without any lighting, like with the lights on, but without that softbox on, because <coughs> it looked really bad. But now I think I can actually do that. Let me know how this looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the other camera. Okay, so I'm back filming on my old camera. This used to feel a little bit heavy, but it feels like a feather now. This isn't bad, but literally this, this, this old one feels like a feather compared to this. So, Anyway, I'm now filming on my old camera. It's a bit weird to be back on it. But yeah, here we are. Got the softbox on. It's a bit messy around here. I was taking profile pictures, which I took with these, with this earlier today. So I've got my lamp on and everything. Now let's get some shots. Here's the camera, iron brew, monitor, and me. This is the way I'd vlog. Hey guys, how are you all doing? I'm the Dave. Now, 
what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn this off and then this off and this is the kind of shot I didn't like it got all like rainy and horrible when I film like this let me know what you think compared to that now I might test them both in a little little bit of lower light than this okay so I'm back on the new camera and as you can see we're in my lounge where there's obviously Christmas decorations up and everything so I'll film some of the decorations for you see how the shots turn out here's a little Christmas tree and we've got some other light up decorations over here very nice oh uh, there's mum's card perfectly fitting there is the tree get some nice shots of that and here's just like my classic vlogging shot if I get it in focus a bit more that was my error that focus not the cameras so I don't really rely on the autofocus on this I just adjust it myself so yeah here I am filming the lounge maybe I could even close this door over a bit but overall this does do pretty good in low light and hey you know if I'm not satisfied with this guess what just by the press of the button back here I've got a surprise night vision so I could get this if I don't like the other but it is really good in low light okay now I'm on the old camera to make it a fair test I've got the door open again let's see got that tree these the card the big big tree and now if we close this door we'll get a classic vlog shot from me and here we are how much can you see bear in mind no, at normal times here it wouldn't even be this light in here with the light on it would be pretty pretty dark but this is what it looks like it would be nowhere I was going to see the camera a bit and there's no night vision on this so I couldn't even enhance it whatsoever but this is what we got on the old camera okay so we're back out here now and when I used to do camera versus camera like I always did like photo tests but I'm not comparing the photos on this to the photos on a camcorder that seems a bit pointless but yeah the start isn't strategy so woo steady hold on is that a bit better it's a bit better not perfect but anyway hopefully you can see the qualitative difference between them now that I've done that and hopefully I can as well when I edit this but if you have enjoyed this smash a like make sure you leave some video ideas in the comments that I can film with this camera because I'm desperate to get some videos out on here with it I can't think of anything really myself to do at the moment on the main channel uh, make sure you subscribe to the vlogging channel so you can see all my vlogs from this I'll catch you all next time. Bye! And also, if I don't don't get you to say, make sure you hit up all my social medias because one of my New Year's resolutions on there is to get more active on them. So make sure you go hit them up. I'll be using them a lot in 2018. There's all of them in the description. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that. I've got it. Make sure you go check it out, follow it, like it, whatever you've got to do subscribe whatever all right bye